Hey everybody, it's Sneaker Nerd Nick here, and today I'm going to show you all how to encrypt data in Microsoft SQL Server using symmetric keys and AES-256 algorithm. So the first thing we're going to need is an actual table, right? So let's go ahead and create this table, and the column that we're going to be encrypting is this card column, which right now is a var chart data type. So we're going to select from the table, and you see right now we don't have any data. So the next step is we're going to insert some data. So I'm going to insert five rows of data here. So now if I do a select from that table, you'll see we have five rows of data. And you see right now we have a decrypted value of the card column, which that's going to be subject to change. So since we're using symmetric keys, we would need a master key for the database. If you have a master key already, you can skip this step. I do not, so I'm going to go ahead and create this master key. It's going to be encrypting by a password, and that's the password that I input for it. And then this next set of code, so here we're creating a certificate. I named it new certificate. It's going to be with the subject line encryption. Uh, also creating a new symmetric key. I named it new symmetric key, and this is using algorithm AES-256, which is recommended. And then we're going to be encrypting by that certificate that we created above. So I can run all this code together. And here we're going to add a new column to the table called card underscore encrypted, which is going to be var binary max data type. So if we do a select from that customer table, you see right now we have that new column card underscore encrypted, and right now it's null. So in this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open that new symmetric key and the new certificate that we created above, and we're going to update the customer table where we're going to set that new column that we created called card underscore encrypted, and we're basically going to encrypt the value of what's in the card column in this new field called card encrypted. So here we're going to go ahead and run that, and if I do a select from the customer table, you see now we have encrypted value in this card encrypted column. So if I select the actual uh, fields from that customer table and I decrypt the value that's in the card encrypted, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrypt it and add it to a new column, a, a uh, like an alias essentially, um, and name it decrypted card. And you'll see that it has the same data as what's in the card column. So this is essentially a decrypted value of what was in that encrypted value, and what was in that encrypted column. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close the symmetric key. And since we have this new encrypted card column, now we can go ahead and drop the original card column because we no longer need it. We don't want a decrypted card column in the table. And here we're gonna go ahead and rename the, the card encrypted column to card column. So now if we do a select from that customer table, now we have just the card column with this encrypted value. Thanks everybody.